Hey there and welcome back to another VFX particle tutorial where we kind of pimp up the whole little thing which you're seeing in front of you. So you got this flat but still pretty beautiful explosion. But let's actually spice it up with some extra details which are those particles and as you can see definitely looking more impactful. It just kind of lasts and it's seeing like hey there's actually something going on. This is highly highly advancing the game feel overall because just stuff flying around. So if you want to join me on this small little journey of let's say I guess 10 minutes then stick around. This is one up Indie. I am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing to the channel of course. Alrighty for reference so for example this is what we're going to do. You can completely skip this part if you think uh, this is not helpful at all. So a few things which we need to understand is that we have kind of first of all an initial sprite which we are playing and then additionally below it or above it doesn't really matter. We are placing a particle system which is just emitting its particles and that could be I don't know kind of on a ring so where it's kind of there and then we just burst it and then of course we need to define kind of a cone because we want to go in these kind of directions but what we want to do is to have kind of a parabolic flight path so at some point gravity is catching up so therefore we need a pull which is then our gravity going downwards then what we can do this is alternatively uh, just give it some spin so we just change the orientation not necessary but you can and then um that is pretty much it so let's actually go into game maker and check out how we can do this here this will be a little bit unorthodox because um there are a few things which i'm going to do a little bit different than other tutorials but this is i guess hopefully a good starter in other consecutive tutorials i won't be doing this this is just to get the flow going on so let's say what we want to have is our particle system for that we just go create particle system or just uh, have this dude here and then call it i don't know part system rubble and here once again i do a thing a little bit unorthodox we just drag that th a thing to the right side and call it dummy so i have to dummy why do i do this because I want to have kind of a reference how big that stuff is because for now everything is empty and you don't want to jump in between here and here just to check out if the rubber system is looking good. You can actually do this instantly here. For that we kind of have our dummy rubble, pop out our uh, inspector and actually what do we do? We kind of uh, destroy the whole purpose of that thing by just uh, putting in a sprite into our dummy so as the particle as you can see looking pretty cool but this is not actually what we want to have burst just one on one spot so we just change the position where it's spawning and then it does not need to fly up so zero zero and give it I don't know 300 as a life let's see how that looks like did I destroy something uh, because this is the size not the life here we go and then the speed zero zero and then as you can see it kind of looks static but we're just spawning constantly particles which have one to one the size of our explosion this is what we want to have and now we are actually creating our rubble and this one is the thing which we're going to customize because that's at the center and this is where we want to have it. So the first thing which we want to do is give it a different kind of thing. So the disks don't stream it because this should be a one time burst. And of course this is not looking too good. So therefore we just say like, hey, make this area a little bit smaller. This is of course up to you how big the explosion is so something like this. Or if you want to be quite picky, you can just go with ellipse. And then it's kind of the area where the impact start is going on to. But as you can see, that thing is huge. So let's make it smaller. So let's have 0 0.01 to 0 0.05, something like this. Still kind of big, but it is 
barely visible so how do we do this well on a one-time impact we have not one we have multiples and as you can see now they're shooting upwards this is already pretty good but we want it to fall down for that we just go into gravity 0.06 once again just play around with the values until it does look good and as you can see they're flying up <laughs> they want to fly down but their life ends here this is of course not good so therefore we just say like hey well give the life a little bit more so i don't know 180 to 220 something like this so i don't know how long you want to have it stick around and then it's falling down looking pretty good now we want to give it some randomness because they all kind of look the same ish so give different kind of speeds and as you can see looking much more realistic already than we are um flying but as you can see they are just a little bit flying up just too narrowly upwards this is not what we want at least for the explosion part so we're just changing the direction from starting 20 which is going to the right and then 180 would be completely to the left so minus the initial 20 and then kind of we have a cone if you want to have it a little bit more narrow then just change the number c and just minus it here so minus 180 minus whatever the value you're having here so it kind of looks all right and then the next thing which we want to have is have it disappear because for now it's just flying downward and then it's kind of instantly disappearing this doesn't look too good so let's go into the last color and here a sneaky little thing you can actually change the alpha value and that means on the last third it will go into the zero value at some point and then as you can see we kind of have a fade out transition of the sprite so and then just going away looking beautiful this is definitely what we want to have and then we are pretty much finished here so how can we spawn it kind of easy get rid of that get rid of that so let's say um once again this is what i explained before so we need to create a particle system this is we called it part system place it in here part system create so we want to use this thing which we just customized save it into a variable and tell him like hey spawn it on this position so part system position so our particle which we created it's stored the idea into in the id into the variable and then where we want to have it for now it's just on our mouse click while we also create the explosion and then those two lines are creating your particle burst in the particle system by itself so let's actually check this out and see how it looks like so here our initial and now our burst i mean this burst and as you can see looking pretty good and but the whiteness is too stylistic and it doesn't look too good to be honest to be uh, used in uh, well this kind of graphics so therefore it does make sense to make it a little bit brownish and what you're seeing at the left side <laughs> is oh, on the left side is um, the dummy so uh, once you are done and it looks good get rid of it so here our dummy uh, I'll trash it because in the end um, you will spawn in any case even though for example you just disable its visibility it will be still around so get rid of it once you don't need it and then the last part is uh, i don't know give it a brown color a light brown color here we go and another brownish color something like this doesn't really matter so here and now it will most definitely fit um how it's supposed to look like and then let's check it out once again looking definitely much better and it does fit because here our ground is brown greenish also that's pretty much it so of course if you want to go a little bit more stylistic you could go with some really bigger sprites and change the uh, rotation of it so how do we do this kind of easy we can first of all just say like hey uh, let's go back to white no recoloring um, and use a sprite which is here five by five pixels and then we can just drag it in here as our image of course we need to adjust now the sizes because they were super small so 0 0.5 to 1 here we go and then maybe we want to rotate just be careful because here 
um, if you have a shading which is then lighter color on the upwards and you start to rotate it it can kind of look silly but it's moving really fast so it's not that terrible just be uh, aware of that fact so what we can do is just change the orientation that means it will rotate during flight and as you can see now hopefully you can see it better now they are kind of rotating so let's check it out how it does look like right now and that's what we did here so once again pretty sweet and then of course just change it the way you like it and definitely looks more impactful hopefully that was of uh, use to you and you now know how to kind of pimp up your graphics and make them more beautiful have a good one one up indie